For this video, we are going to talk about multiplying of polynomials. So we are going to use uh, the distributive property to simplify expressions or when we are multiplying two polynomials. Okay, when we say distributive property, we need to multiply each of the terms in the first polynomial to each of the terms in the second polynomial. And then after that, we are going to combine like terms and then finally we simplify. Okay, we shall illustrate these steps in the following example. We are going to multiply the two polynomials 2x plus 1 and 3x squared minus x plus 4. Okay, so based from the distributive property, we are going to distribute each of the terms in the first polynomial to each of the terms in the second polynomial. That means this 2x here will be multiplied to each of the terms in the second polynomial. Okay, so we are going to multiply 2x to all the terms in the second polynomial and then afterwards we are going to multiply this second term of the first polynomial 1 to each of the terms in the second polynomial. Okay, so basically we are going to multiply 6 times in this particular example. First, what is 2x times 3x squared? So that is 6x, 6x cubed. And then 2x multiplied by negative x, that's negative 2x squared. 2x times 4 is positive 8x. And then 1 times 3x squared is positive 3x squared. 1 times negative x is negative x. 1 times 4 is positive 4. We have applied the distributive property. Now, after applying the distributive property, we are going to combine like terms. Okay? So, in this case, 6x cubed doesn't have any like terms. So, we are going to just write 6x cubed. 2x squared and 3x squared are like terms, so negative 2 plus 3 is positive 1, or we can say positive x squared. 8x and negative x are like terms, so 8x minus x is 7x. And then finally, the constant is only 4, so we just need to write plus 4. At this moment, we are going to talk about the special products. Based from the term, these are the result of multiplying polynomials. Our first on the list for special product number 1 is x plus a multiplied by x plus b. Okay, you may have talked in your, you may have heard about the FOIL method uh, during your high school. Uh, FOIL method is actually applicable only when two binomials are multiplied to each other, right? Okay, so if we use the FOIL method in this situation, we'll come up with x squared, that's x times x, right? x squared, and then uh, a times x is ax, and x times b is bx, that's a plus b times x, and a times b is a. So we actually use the FOIL method to come up with the following product. For special product number two, this is uh, the square of a binomial, right? So the square of a binomial, meaning we need to multiply x plus y by itself. So this is basically x plus y times another x plus y. Okay, so we can use the FOIL method also you know, in this case. But we are squaring, when we are squaring binomials, it's good to know that we can actually use this formula. Okay? The, the square of the first term plus twice the first term times the second term plus the square of the second term. Okay? That's x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. For special product number 3, if you take a look at this one, this is a product of two binomials the only difference in these binomials is the sign 
okay the the first terms are equal uh, they are both x in this case and the second terms are also equal in this case they are both y okay the only difference between these two polynomials is the sign between them so the other one is plus the second one is minus so this is sometimes called the product of a sum and difference if we have something like this the product is just the square of the first term minus the square of the second term and for special product number four you don't need to actually memorize this one okay this is derived using the foil method as well the distributive property of multiplication okay so you don't need to memorize that what I only need you to uh, be familiar with is the second special product and the third special product. The square of a binomial and the sum and difference. The product of a sum and difference. Okay? So we will illustrate these special products in the following examples. For part A, we are going to multiply x plus 7 times x plus 2. Okay? So as I told you a while back, we don't need to memorize the special product. But if this is the case, okay, the case is the first terms are both x. First, they, are, they should be both binomial. Uh, x plus 7 is a binomial. x plus 2 is another binomial. And take note here that uh, x, the, the first term of both expressions is x. Okay, parehas yung first terms nila x and then uh, 7 and 2 for their second term. So if this is the case, that's x squared, x times x is x squared, uh, 7 times x is 7x, 2 times x is 2x, so if we add them together, that's 7 plus 2x. Okay, and 7 times 2 is 14. So the product is x squared, plus 9x plus 14. For part B, we have 2w plus 5z squared. So this is a square of a square of a binomial. Okay, you can use the FOIL method dito. We just need to multiply 2w plus 5z by another 2w plus 5z. Okay, pero uh, take note from our special product formula dito sa taas special product number two that we can actually use this one okay with nothing a pattern data so special product number two we just need to square the first term twice the first term times the second term plus the square of the second term so gagawin natin dito ngayon sa part b 2w plus 5z our first term is 2w our second term is 5z okay based from our formula we square the first term that's 2w squared plus twice that's two times the first term times the second term and then plus the square of the second term okay so pinattern natin doon sa formula natin and then we perform the operation now 2w squared it's uh, 4w squared 2 times 2 times 5 is 20 and then wc and then the last term is 5z squared that's 25z squared so this is the product of the square of the binomial okay and then let us proceed to part c we have 9x plus 4 multiplied by 9x minus 4 this is a special product number 3 okay uh, because their first terms are equal 9x parehas na 9x the second terms are also equal parehas na 4 okay the only difference between these two polynomials is the sign between them. Itong isa plus, itong isa minus. Okay. If this is the case, anong sinasabi ng special product number 3 natin? We square the first term minus the square of the second term. Tama? So that's 9x squared minus 4 squared. 9x squared is 81x squared. 4 squared is 16. So ito na yung product natin for the given factors. And finally, for part D, we have uh, 5x minus 2y multiplied by 3x plus 6y. So we don't need to use the formula above. Ano? Pwede nyo nang gawin dito. You can actually use the FOIL method. Okay? So that's 5x times 3x. So that's 5 times 3x squared. Correct? Ito na yun, first term. And then 
5x times 6y that's 5 times 6 xy and then uh, negative 2y times 3x that's negative 2 times 3xy pinag-isa na lang dito sa sa second term okay and then finally we have negative 2y times 6y that's negative 2 times 6y squared so we did actually use the foil method okay if iba yung method niyo for the foil method that's okay as long as you arrive at the answer 15x squared plus 24xy minus 12y squared so that's it for the multiplication of polynomials if you have any question about this topic uh, you can message me in MBLE, you can email me, or you can actually comment on this video. Don't forget to subscribe.